Here we got a 2003 Chevy Malibu and uh, going to be checking the uh, transmission fluid in it and it's kind of difficult on these vehicles to show you where the uh, where the transmission filled plug is and the place you gotta take out to uh, check it these don't have uh, just a basic dipstick you use to check it when you want to check these you gotta actually pull out a a plug in the bottom of the transmission near the pan and you take that plug out and you fill it until it runs out and then that's full I'll show you what I mean here it's, it's kinda hard to see it uh, on the vehicle itself but just so happens I have an exact uh, same engine and transmission out of the car already it'd be easier to show you on this this fill plug I'm talking about is right here this little red red cap here this is where you add the transmission fluid I'll show you on the car there's a lot of crap in the way but this is the uh, fill plug and as you can see there's no dipstick on it or anything it's just a fill plug okay, so I'll put that back but the idea is you take this off and then there's a plug on the bottom of the transmission when you add fluid to it you want to make sure your car's level and in you know good driveway uh, so you get a good level reading but in order to fill this thing there's a plug right here if you look for the oil I mean the transmission pan right here in between the kind of around where the uh, half shaft and the uh, the engine oil pan kind of meet uh, it's right here there's this little plug little bolt right right here there it is see this right here you have to take this bolt out and take the bolt out and while you're filling transmission fluid fluid will run out right here and when it gets nice and level that's when you know it's full and that's the way you check it I don't know why they did it this way this seems pretty complicated it's a whole lot easier to check a dipstick but uh, I guess uh, General Motors wants you to take your vehicle into the shop to have this procedure done which to me is just uh, just silly but anyway it was a whole lot easier to show you guys with it out of the vehicle now let me go show you what it looks like on the vehicle as you guys can see why I showed you guys that one because there's a lot less stuff in the way but basically you're going to look for it down in there it's buried beneath the uh, throttle body and the air cleaner and master cylinder and it's in a bad spot really I don't even know if I could show you guys this clearly I gotta just reach down there with my hand and grab it but it's really in a bad spot okay now on the vehicle you have all this stuff in the way here and it's a, a nightmare to get to this thing but you want to look for this little flange on the exhaust stick your hand in between the throttle body and the exhaust reach down feel for this and then you know right below this is where the caps at. but like I said you have all this crap in the way so it's really stupid of how they have this but that's where it's at here's the best way to do it reaching in here you got your hand on yeah I'm oh, okay I'm loosening it up all right Got the cap out. Fill plug. Okay, you want to? I got a. You can see it too. Fill the plug right down in there, or the fill hole right there, right in here. I think. Yeah, oh yeah, right there. Now I'm going to take this loose down here, Mark. All right. I'm trying to see. He's taking that bolt out.
that's the uh, plugs out that's 11 millimeter just a little plug thing okay. now you just add fluid until fluid comes out of that hole does it have to be say does it have to be running or anything or just, no Yeah, I'm under the car here to show you guys where this plug's at. I showed you on the engine outside, but remember I told you you find the transmission pan and there's the engine oil pan. But if you find the transmission pan right near the back, right there. Got the plug out already and it's kind of leaking down a little bit. That's where that's where that plug is right there. Between the oil pan and transmission pan. Just find the oil pan and look up right there. Okay, to fill up this transmission, we went and grabbed just a regular funnel and we found a hose to stick on the funnel and so we can fish that down there and fill her up. That's the fluid we got. Textron 6. Automatic transmission fluid, that's what we're adding. Sounds like it's coming out the bottom there. Oh shit. Coming out, Mark. Yeah, it's missing the pan though. Oh, okay. See, you just let it. Coming out pretty solid. Yep. Throwing the plug back in. That's a eleven millimeter. Just gonna start it up and run through some gears. Check it again.
Now it shouldn't take hardly anything to work. See? I'm going to just try putting a little bit more in there, but it shouldn't take too much. Is it coming out any mark? No. Well, I guess it sucked more in there than what I saw. I'm going to open up this other one. Okay. It shouldn't take very much. No. There it goes. It's leaking now. <laughs> well, we added a little more after we ran it through, and now it's leaking out again. And just gonna put the plug on and tighten her up. Be good. I've got to wait till that cools down, that exhaust cools down. It's too hot for it to put that down in there. By the one up top, it's too hot. Yeah. Sorry. Ready? Yeah. All right, putting the plug back in. Okay, done deal.